What is up, YouTube? This is Red Leprechaun Gaming, and welcome to Season 8 of Minecraft Hardcore on the PS4 once more. Our last three attempts or so have been absolutely abysmal. I'm hoping to get a lot farther in this one. My strategy this time around is actually going to be just to get geared up as fast as humanly possible. And I'm not talking iron gear. Ooh, but that is perfect. Ooh. Thank you, Glitch. Sometimes lag can be a beautiful thing. Give me that. Give me your wall. We just need enough for a bed. Let's see how fast we can get diamond gear. Now it said there was a cave system over here. And by, you, you know, you saw the thing when we were loading in. I think we've been having as much lag as we are, well, because this is A, on the uh, PS4, and B, because um, I have the render distance set to maximum, so it's generating 10 chunks, which is quite substantial for this gaming system. And yes, I am going all the way here out of my way just to get double tall flowers. Oh yeah, we really need to be able to get wheat, too. If we could come across a village, that'd be great, too. But, like I said, we're not exactly setting up a house. We're just kind of getting the stuff so that we can survive. I know we have kind of a habit of not setting up houses here, but whatever. Put all of this up. You, too. And now we can punch a tree. We're already at level one. Only an absurd amount to go. Hello, George. You are small and fuzzy. Now we're definitely going to need some saplings here, because I don't know how long we're going to be down there. It might be worth bringing... Oh. Well, that was easy. It might be worth bringing dirt with us. It's time for the strip mine of all strip mines. I want to be so geared up that next time we go to the nether, if we fall in lava, it won't even be our downfall. As much as I'd like spruce saplings, hmm. That's an interesting question. Do we get the spruce saplings? Because both for wood generation and for, you know, building a house eventually at some point, those are very good things. The issue is, I won't be able to use the spruce saplings underground, so I they'll essentially be taking up an extra slot in our inventory for no reason. I mean, to be fair, I got a bed instantly, and we're probably not going to be sleeping for a few weeks, so... Help, once again, not the most useful. There's a half boat over there, which means it probably won't have any treasure in it. And it's, you know, underwater, which is not a thing we're very good with. Okay, let's just quickly make one of these. I'll turn all of these into sticks. I did only get one oak sapling for that. I'll probably have to walk back over there and get more, but whatever. We have to go back that way for the cave anyways. Oh, I should make one of these too. And besides, we're going to need all the wood we can get while well, down there. Because, well, stuff like stone and iron will get literally infinite quantities of being underground. 
we're literally not going to have any access to wood unless we find a big enough area to plant trees. Because I'm not taking the time to hollow out a massive space to plant trees in when we're just going to leave it behind during our strip mining. I think we're going to have to go one up here to get the rest of that. Or more. It's kind of funny, my cat's collars have little bells on them, so whenever they're play fighting, you can just hear jingling noises. They really like this little tube-esque thing. It's like a scratching post, but it's got like a tube on top that they can go in. It's like a foot and a half across, but like... They're 11 pound cats, so they keep knocking it over. <laughs> Transfer all of this. So, we need that, food, pickaxe. I would prefer to get four of these. One more, anywhere. There's an extra piece of wood I forgot. And I think there was one up here, right? There we go. There's four. There's five. Even better. Pick up our crafting table. This axe is already almost dead. I see an apple over there. That's a good thing. Is there any more saplings we can grab before we delve into the deep? Like I said, I don't see any trace of a village around, and we're not going to have the time to go look for one. There's some more food. Which is good, because we're already losing hunger. Ooh, I just realized. Hmm. We might need to find a village, because uh, if we're strip mining, the entire time we're strip mining, we're not going to be generating the area that our uh, crops are in, so they wouldn't be growing. Okay, we're going to do a little traveling. Get some more cows. I guess we'll get some more of these. We're only missing one double tall flower. We do seem to have pretty good luck with those. We've had pretty good luck with caves in this too. I'm going to have to kill these guys with my pickaxe. Did he give us anything? That one did. So did that one. Now this area looks promising for both villages and caves. I just need one of their things of wheat. Why is there a flower right here? Not that one. This one. Okay. So. We're going to have to just real quick get some stone here. Because wooden tools are not going to cut it. Let's get like half a stack real quick. That way we can make a couple. Even stone tools don't have that great a durability. The trade-off being that you can get an infinite quantity of them while you're mining. That's what most of our strip mining is going to be done with. That way we're not wasting other resources. I know from experience you can burn through an entire diamond pickaxe without coming across any more diamonds while strip mining. Four more. Entomb this pickaxe here forever. And off we go. Should probably have killed that sheep, but oh well. Actually, I should have made the tools is what I should have done. This is a very deep hole. I'm not seeing any traces of anything out here. We might have to start sprinting that away. 
It's already hitting nighttime, so we're gonna have to make a bed. Bed. Okay. Axe, axe, pickaxe, pickaxe. Let's redo this real quick. Bed. Oh yeah, should probably make a furnace too. Eat a couple pieces of raw mutton. I think it has to be the majority of the sun below stuff. Now you can kind of cheese this, because for instance, if there was like jungle trees or something there, that would actually count as it below the horizon. And then, you know, we could sleep earlier, but we can't. There we go. It's about halfway, I'd say. Off we go, on day two. Positive Z-axis again. We keep going on that. Ooh, there's the third kind of tall flower. I know it's three slots in our inventory, but I'll take it. Now, if we keep running over terrain like this, and we keep finding cows, we might actually make a set of leather armor. I do find it hilarious that leather armor is harder to obtain than full iron armor. They definitely went a bit overboard when it came to the whole making leather hard to come across because of its role in enchanting and stuff. Is that a super tall sugar cane? Well, these are breaking for some reason. I mean, we already have them in our inventory. We might as well grab them. There's a squid dying for some reason. Ooh, I might want to... Did you drop an ink sack? No, you did not. Yes, you did. That way, we can get ourselves a booking quill. And we can keep track of the days that way. Which is my preferred method. Either that or I end it on, like, a really easy-to-remember uh, thingy. Now, this biome can have villages in it, so we're going to need to keep our eye out here. There's also wolves and foxes everywhere, so we might come across a decent amount of already uh, provided food. As sheeps do not last long in this environment. Ooh, there's a... Oh, never mind. I thought that was going to be one of those bigger pits that, like, leads far down. Is there any immediate iron right here? What are you doing? What? You don't say. You say so? You poor little kitty. Yeah, you suffer so bad. No one ever pays any attention to you. You poor widow George kitty. I'm just gonna poke in here, see if there's any iron. There is not. Okay. It looks like it might lead far down, but, you know, we got some coal. I don't want to have too much coal on me. Well, I guess we will need it because we're going to be far enough underground. But, like, how much gold are we going to need to smelt down there? <laughs> Especially since eventually we'll have access to the nether and infinite gold. Got like 10, 12 minutes left. Hopefully we can find what we're looking for in that time, and we can delve deep underground. Now this, uh, this like, season is probably going to have fewer, uh, what, what's the word for it? Fewer, um, 
shall we say, extraneous episodes. You know how I, like, film when I find a diamonds or when I'm about to do something that could get me killed or something. Well, for a big chunk of this first part of the series, we're going to be just... Bait. There are so many brown mushrooms here. I need red mushrooms, though, so I can have mushrooms, too. Ooh, that's actually perfect. I can... Because we're not going to be, like, going back to where our, uh... We're not going to be, like, traveling back to the entrance of the mine. So I could just occasionally slap down a, uh... What's the word? I, I could occasionally slap down a, uh, mushroom in the tunnel behind me. And then we'll have infinite mushrooms. Oh, now this is nice. It doesn't help our food situation, but it does help... Well, hopefully it helps with stuff. If you could give me some obsidian and probably a flint and steel, that'd be great. There's so much obsidian here. Pity we don't have diamonds. Can you get diamonds in... No! Well, that was almost the end of the season right there. Ooh, but I'll take it. Wait, is that... That's enough for almost two whole iron ingots. So it didn't give us a flint and steel. However, it did give us the stuff to make a flint and steel. However, I think what we'll do first is make a uh, shield. So we want an iron ingot. And we want... A shield. We're now immune to creepers, basically. Now, if we just find a village and sort our food problem, we can delve into the depths. Actually, come to think of it, there might be quite a few extraneous episodes on this, because I have no idea how long it's going to take me to find a village here. I mean, it's not that we're not getting food, it's just steak is only a very limited help to us. Well, that one gave us two mutton. Still not seeing any red mushrooms anywhere. Should probably make a boat, but whatever. I'm being a little more overcautious with the episode timing since we went over last time. I don't like having to lop the end off of videos just so that I can save them in my computer. Because then I'm not really saving the video, am I? I'm only saving part of it. Any iron exposed immediately? Nope. Just some more copper. As we hear cars revving past my window. You don't chase, small one. Oh, here's a bunny. Is there a village anywhere? I just need some hay bales. Well, forests don't have villages, so it's looking like we're probably not going to find one this episode. Where's the beef? There's the beef. That's not beef. That's beef. Boink. How much sugar cane do I have? 17. Yeah. I thought I had a lot more than that. Uh, some more flowers. You know what? If you give us a feather... Thank you. That, that, 
and a booking quill. I know I don't technically need these, but whatever. I have a slot in my inventory with them in it, so I'll take them. Almost got a quarter of a stack of uh, beef here. But considering how long we're going to be underground for, that's probably not going to be anywhere near enough. Break. Especially if we don't cook it. But hello there. That's a rather dangerous hole in the ground. That's a less dangerous one, but still not entirely the best. Can I grab this? E. Uh oh. I mean, day three already. Wow. There's flowers everywhere. Now, I'm not picking up raw chicken because you can't eat raw chicken raw without salmonella in yourself. So. There we go. See, with the trees there, we can do it earlier. I just threw the bed and then fell into a hole. We're going the wrong way. We could just find it. Ooh. Plains biomes have villages. Well, some of... That's not a village. <laughs> it's a something, but it's not a village. Um, what do I have that I can ditch? Another feather. Ooh, I just realized. Hmm. Is there... There's a bunch of cages. I can't see what's in them, though. That's an LA. I don't want to go for the one up there. There's too many dudes next to it. But, why are there so many donkeys in your field? <laughs> There's an iron golem. I think we just found iron. That is an amazing mountain, by the way. I love to build near here, but we need gear, and we need it bad. So what I'm going to do is go... Give me your iron, preferably five of them. That didn't work. Tried to place it in there with him to get it out of the way, but whatever. Here, this'll work. That's a lot of lag. Do I have anything else? I have dirt. I don't need the flower. I need the three iron that it gave me. Perfection. this. 
Okay. Run for it. That was a very dangerous maneuver, but it worked. So it was worth it. Now look at this mountain. And look at this new and improved weapon. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to make a boat. Oh, are we going over? I'll end this episode right here. I'll be back in a second. Until then, you guys have fun.